There was an unfortunate tragedy that took place this week involving a boat that sank with cruise ship passengers on board during an excursion. We got two people in the hospital, one fatality, a massive investigation underway, understandably so, and the potential for lawsuits. Also, as an after effect of all this that has taken place, people are going to be skeptical not only of this company in which all this took place with, but just shore excursions in general. So we are going to talk about that as well as go over the details that are available so far when it comes to the situation. But first, let's check out some video clips of this actual incident. Our boat is sinking. So that's fun. Everybody's freaking out. Literally sinking. I'm on the top floor of a ferry. On Tuesday, November 14th, there was a double-decker boat located in Nassau, Bahamas, offering rides that take about 40 minutes from Nassau, Bahamas, where the cruise port is, over to Blue Lagoon Island. Now, Blue Lagoon Island is a popular place for shore excursions. You could swim with dolphins over there. You could do some snorkeling. You know, the usual stuff you do on a cruise ship. Due to rough waters, the boat would start to tip back and forth from side to side, eventually taking in water and would start to sink with all of the passengers on board. While the ocean water in that particular area where the incident occurred is of course beautiful blue and tropical like and by some metrics it's not really that deep about six meters or 20 feet deep you could still of course drown in it even when the boat sank it didn't go all the way down because the boat is just as long so you had the back end kind of hanging out of it however it was enough to prompt an emergency in which all the staff and passengers on board had to put on their life vest there was also a distress call sent back over to Nassau Bahamas in which you had the Royal Bahamas Defense Force come out and offer aid and rescue during the rescue efforts there would be some casualties there were two passengers that were taken to the hospital once they were rescued by the royal bahamas defense force and there was also another cruise ship passenger a 75 year old woman that unfortunately passed away during this whole process there isn't really any information on this woman or what exactly did occur as far as how she passed away why she passed away we don't know if she drowned we don't know if she had some underlying situation we also don't know what cruise line she or really any of the other passengers were sailing with as we get into somewhat of the conversation or commentary side of things i do want to first give my sincere condolences to the friend, family, and loved ones of the 75-year-old woman that passed away in this unfortunate and random tragedy. When it comes to the situation as a whole, there's not a lot known about the passengers of the situation of itself. We don't know the company name that was hosting these passengers on board during the boat that sank. We don't know about the passengers. They could have all been on a sure excursion with one particular cruise line. However, there were five ships in port over in Nassau, Bahamas that day, ranging from Norwegian Cruise Line, Disney, Royal Caribbean, Carnival. So it could be a situation where it was just a bunch of random people that saw the excursion with their line or it could be they were just kind of you know just freelancing it they were seeing what was out there and then they found the boat and they decided to take the boat and it wasn't a shore excursion that was directly tied to the cruise line the only thing we really do know so far is that the boat in question when the incident occurred was sailing into some rough waters now we don't know if they were going against protocol maybe it could have been a situation where the waves at first when they started the trip wasn't that bad and then it got worse and it came up to this situation however Nevertheless, I do believe there's probably going to be some type of lawsuits. There's going to be, of course, there is an investigation going on underway right now. And unfortunately, I do believe that there is going to be some kind of effect when it comes to the local tourism over in this particular area. By that I mean they're of course going to be some type of drop probably for the next couple months of people that are just skeptical and don't want to take a boat ride from Nassau Bahamas over to Blue Lagoon Island for fears that the boat might sink. I've seen even on social media people are running wild with all of the rumors or there are other people that are saying they're never taking a sure excursion again and there's also the argument that's pretty controversial of people are saying that this is why you book only with the cruise line because some of these companies can be sketchy even though it hasn't been confirmed on whether the sure excursion was available 
on the ship as a package deal or a partnership with the cruise line or not. All I will say is that for me, unless this company was doing something bad, they made a bad decision in which they knew the weather wasn't exactly adequate, but they decided to put profits over human lives. And now we have this conundrum that we're dealing with now. There are things that just happen in life. It doesn't matter if you were playing it safe or not. Unless you're going to live in a bubble suit for the rest of your life or stay at home, there is the potential for something to always happen. Whether you were doing an extreme excursion like ATVing or scuba diving, or if you were just taking a simple boat ride to a island, it can happen. But of course, guys, let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below. Hit that like button on your way out. No, as usual, I love and appreciate every single one of you, and I'll see you later. Take it easy.